This is one of the greatest New York players of all time. And sure, he's but my, not Knicks player. Definitely not a great my, Knicks player. He's my, you know, all time. There it is. He and his boyfriend. <clears throat> but I'm like look, 13. Look, are you? You look the same as you do now. I'm, I'm like 13. Zero things have changed about you besides <laughs> a little bit of facial hair. Can we zoom in on, 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 on my face? Zoom. Go, I'll A and B it. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Try to make the same. Oh yeah, you you are making the same face. Take the headband off. The line move back, or is it good? Same no, same. No, same line. Yeah, the line's still in the same place. Come on, come on, come on man. Yo, man. Come on. Same line. Bro. Why <laughs> you say that? Come on. Yeah, man. Look. <laughs> look at Steph though. Your man had not even a mustache. What the fuck is he doing? Y'all want to know, man? I played on stuff on Marbury's AAU basketball team, Team Marbury, back in the day. If you want to know where these photos came from. Hey. Hey, yo, that, <laughs> is that the first one? Hold on. The fact, hold on, hold on. The fact that you're playing in the in yeah, fucking yo, 11s. Say, look, look, yo, check out the feet, y'all. My man, the fact that you're playing in 11s. Yo, always, Only yo. Michael Jordan has ever done that. In AI, in college. Mm, you know okay. I mean? like, okay, he forced it. Me, AI, and Jordan, yo. And and not even really laced, kind of loose. <laughs> yeah, kind of loose. Give him buckets. Yo, I always stayed with some J's. Let's not get it twisted, y'all. Like, I stayed with some J's, and my hairline has not changed much, man. Thank God for that. Look at them shorts. Yeah, man. Shout out to the gauchos, too, man. My favorite Nick, my favorite player, really, of all time, is like AI and Stephon Marbury, man. Like, that's just, it's just what it is. Don't ask me no questions about it. Don't debate me on it. It's, I'm biased. But Steph was just... Like a god when it came to the basketball growing up, when I was growing up, you know, like that's all you would hear about is stuff on Marbury. And then, two, I mean, look, not to get too sentimental, but I feel like I had the chance to like see him and his family. And, and there's a lot of, you know, the, the news and the media, they try to portray him a certain way, man. Yo, stuff is a good dude. Dan, you could attest to that, right? You, you were there with me. I, yo, we used to go to Steph's crib I mean, in the summertime, there. and Dan would come with me. And he there. would take a busload of kids to his mom's crib in Maryland. It would be like a hundred kids, right? Like, it, at least it'd be like a hundred kids, and he'll he'll take all of them right from his camp to his crib, and it would just be a bunch of us in the pool. I, I might sound crazy. No, Ooh, Diddy, real quick, no before Diddy, you, know. I just want you to acknowledge the picture that's up right now for the fans to see. Um, yeah. Another pair of Jays, by the way. Another pair of Jays. Good, good, good thirteens. Good thirteens. Red. Shout out to this mushroom cut, E. Yeah, man, yo, the mushrooms were in back in the day. Shout out like, to Steph. If, Steph looked like he was like he was like auditioning for like one of those black comedies, like a, you know, like a, like a Omar Epps type like or Tyler Perry, shit or something? Tyler Perry, yeah, like some some sort of. You're saying he's like a handsome black man. Yeah, <laughs> I don't do like statistics, nothing. This is just straight eyeball test. I know what's going on. Who's you know Crystal I can, Rosado? Is she your I can wife? See I cause that's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I remember at Steph's camp when you got in trouble at the pool. Not at the camp, actually. Oh, yeah, when we went yeah. to you his crib. You want to tell the story? Well, I'll, I'll set it up. In, you can knock. It, I'll set it up. You can knock it down. Pause. <laughs> 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 this, is what, this is what Steph used to do, right? He used to take kids, you know, some of the more, more impoverished youth of the community, yeah. and take them to his crib and show them a good time. Me and yeah. E were included in that. Now. The, probably the most the two only light skinned people there correct yeah 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 just not, not i'm not even trying to like be funny but like we we, no, we, we, the, we was, stood out is yeah, my point yeah. i was like the only puerto rican kid on this team yeah so and i'm there with e right yeah. so <laughs> we're at the swimming pool and for whatever reason steph's giving us a, a speech like a long you know like a motivational talk right i want to just stop you right there though because mm -hmm. you got to understand what my attitude was i had just got mvp you remember that you had you had just got MVP. I just got MVP you did. at the camp. So it was a. So I was a little. You were like, <sighs> you had a I don't give a fuck attitude. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh yo, I was like, we're in Steph's crib, but this is my crib. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we're this in Steph's is... crib, but he's my son. Yeah, that's how so I felt. At the end of the day, know? so yeah. I'm the man of this house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like imagine Last your kid. Like checked, imagine like, your kid is trying to tell you something, but it's your crib. Your son yeah, is trying to talk you know to you, but it's your crib. He was like, talking to me, but I was like, "Yo, fam, I just got MVP." Like you imagine your son came to you and said, "Yo, clean your room." Yeah. 
<laughs> That's what it was though I was like yo Steph Like yo, what Steph. are you talking about Like, like Anyways go <laughs> keep, keep going though Like what <laughs> So Steph is he, He's in, He's infantilized At this point He's giving us like Motivational But he thinks He's like a kid when you, Like when you're a teenager And you try to Challenge your dad a little bit Now you're like Okay So Steph is Giving a motivational speech About I don't know. Was it the X's and O's of basketball? Like how nah, to work. I think it was just, just like how to work like, hard. Or yeah, some shit, just right? like hard. You know how he uses to work hard to get out the hood type, us, yeah. type speech. And everyone, I mean, bro, it's Stefan Murray at the time. We're in every, his house. Everyone's and we're locked children. Eyes we're on him. like literally twelve years old. <laughs> children. I can't believe this guy's talking to us. Except for this one fucking Puerto Rican kid named Eric, who's just fucking flicking his toes. And splashing a little splashing, bit. Like, literally, he's, we're, yeah. so we're around the pool. I don't know if I made that clear. And our legs are in the water, right? Yeah. So we're sitting on the deck of the pool. He's fucking kicking his feet, like, playing with the water on some goofy shit. Yeah. Not looking up at stuff at, at all. Nah. And I, I, mean, what, I didn't really feel like I needed to retain that information. I just got MVP. So he couldn't really tell me anything about being a winner. Cause I, I did it already. So <laughs> it's like, bro, you never won anything. Yeah, so how, I mean, why I are just, you even we talking just to won me? the chip. They gave me the MVP. I already got the accolades. Mm-hmm. Now we were just turning up at his crib. So all right, keep, keep going. I don't want to keep it. I mean, uh, to be honest, <laughs> all I remember was him making eye contact with me, who's sitting next to you. Yeah, I remember that. And, and him and him being like, like yo, like tap him. And you something. did. You tapped and me. And I tap. I tap. Like he like he mouthed yeah. it to me. Pause. Yeah. And and he and I just tapped you and you looked. And I up. looked. But then I think he said. I think he There's just like once, I think though. he gently told you like yo you know just pay attention right yeah, like but he didn't even say it out loud he kind of just gave you a look <clears throat> like yo pay attention yeah and then I was not paying attention I it didn't work. you were not paying attention so he and kept then, going on with his story uh then he tapped you again he told you again no then he tapped me again he tapped me again he at which you. point and then he actually just called me out I, I nudged I you a little up. bit harder. Yeah, then he called you out, and then I have no idea what the fuck happened, honestly. Yeah, like, he, he, called, he made me stand up. So he goes, yo, stand up. I'm splashing water. He, he's trying to talk to the kids. He said, yo, you, yo, call, call your man. He tap, Dan tapped me. He tells me to stand up in front of everybody. I stood up. Dan tapped me as paws, though. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say that uh, yeah. for the record. That Dan tapped pause. me as very paws. Dan tapped me as paws. <laughs> so Dan, I was going to say Dan hit me, but that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> now tapping is worse because tapping is like, you like it's kind of sensual. It's a little like yeah, it's like I'm gently you yeah, know. Yeah. Okay, so you like got my attention, uh huh, and I stood up, and he goes, he starts asking me questions. You know, what's your name? And then he goes, where are you from? What school are you going to? And I, I was 13, going to, about to go to high school. I was gas. I was like, yo, I'm going to St. John's Prep, man. What are we talking about? Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, I end up sitting back down. Fast forward to that night, all the kids are in his crib, people watching TV. His sister and his mom had cooked for everybody mm. some of the best, like, food, soul food, like, really good food. And then he had a pool table downstairs that all the kids were playing on. And he came down. He was like, yo, who want to play me? Obviously, you know, all the kids were hyped. Like, everybody wanted to play. I fell back. I was like, oh, I ain't even sweating this, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. <laughs> and he said, nah. Who, who's the, where's the kid at from earlier? And he looked at me, he said, you. And we played a game of pool, me and Steph. Well, he beat me in pool, mm. and that was it. You know what I'm saying? And then St- Steve Francis came down. Steve Fran- Stevie Franchise came Stevie down. Stevie Franchise came he down. He did. He definitely came down. KG was there. Kevin Garnett was there. And how do you know that? The only reason you know that is because your mom told you, Because my right? mom was there. So my mom... My Shout mom and my Iris. dad came came to Steph's house. You know, they were the only parents that came, man. We because we like we, a Puerto Rican kid with all we these ride like. Deep, man. My dad was like, "Yo, I'm going too." Like, fuck that. So my pops came, my mom came, and my mom got sick, and they took her upstairs, which where no none of the kids could go. It was just the adults, Stefan and his family. You know what I'm saying? So they took my mom upstairs and they and they laid her down. They gave her Advil, and 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 you know what I'm saying? They were taking care of her. She said that they were watching reruns of Oprah. And and just laughing, and it was a good old time. And then she said, "Next thing you know, Steph walked out in his underwear." Mm. And no pause. <laughs> <laughs>